So it's been almost a year since I bought the Apple Watch Ultra and I wanted to share with you sort of the totality of that experience. All the pros and cons that had a major impact on my time with the watch and I'll also be talking about my favorite watchOS 10 feature so far as the developer beta has been released and there's some really cool stuff that I want to share with you later in the video. Starting with its durability, I'm the worst when it comes to taking care of my watch. I constantly bang it against walls, I've dropped this watch face first so many times and it's still going strong. There are no noticeable scratches on the OLED display or on the titanium exterior, but on the back of my Ultra, I did crack it slightly on the edge of the ceramic casing. I'm not exactly sure how this happened. I honestly didn't even notice until I inspected my watch thoroughly for this updated review. I have actually dropped my Ultra so many times with the ceramic case hitting the ground first so the fact that there's only one crack on the back, I'm gonna take it. The next thing I wanted to bring up is why the Ultra? You know, Apple sells so many options such as the Series 8 or the Apple Watch SE and all the products almost do the exact same thing, like plus minus some niche features as they run the exact same operating system. For me, the Ultra had two things I wanted that have held up perfectly for almost a year, which is the amazing battery life and the beautifully large OLED display. I can't describe how much better the Apple Watch experience is when you can go multiple days without charging this thing. It has made me feel confident to just go on like a weekend trip and leave my charger behind because I know it'll last me about two days. And suppose I really wanted to push the battery boundaries, I can enable low power mode and probably get close to three days without having to charge my watch. I've had so many mornings where I just forget to charge my watch while I'm getting ready, and its longer battery life has saved me so many times. As I would realize that I didn't charge it, it would show a low battery of like 30%, but I could still go and leave my home confident that that 30% battery will last me the whole day. That's just not something I could say about cheaper Apple Watches. If I left with 30% battery with literally any other Apple Watch, there is a solid chance it's going to die before I come back home. The other reason I chose the Ultra is due to its beautifully large Retina OLED display. It's really crisp. Like I've gotten countless compliments of how bright and clear my display is and how it can show the watch faces and apps really clearly. Especially in direct sunlight, the watch can get up to 2000 nits of brightness, which is twice as bright as any other Apple Watch. And I do really appreciate the night mode toggle by rotating the digital crown. It just makes it easier to see the watch complications in low light situations, but it also helps aid in my reduction of blue light at night when I'm trying to wind down and, and get a good night rest. Okay, so in terms of watch bands I like to wear with my Ultra over the last year, I have gone on record for loving the stuff from Casetify, who were kind enough to partner with me on this video. My two favorite bands from their collection are the Silver Stainless Steel Monolink Band, which you've seen me wear on my channel for months now, as well as their Silver Stainless Steel 3 Link Band, which I've only had for a few weeks, but it looks absolutely stunning. Both bands are made from a premium 316L stainless steel, with fine brushed finishes. Both bands are water, sweat, and corrosion resistant, which is awesome. They are also really lightweight, so they don't really bog down my wrist when I have it on my arm. I'm also a massive fan of the butterfly clasp mechanism. It's just super easy to put on and take off both watch bands. And they do a spectacular job making my Apple Watch just look more elegant, slim, and sophisticated. And you also may wonder how sizing works with these. Caseify did a great job making it super easy. All you have to do is use the included link removal tool to remove as many links as necessary to ensure you get sort of that perfect fit for your wrist. So I also have their black flexi band which is made from a soft and flexible material. And if on some occasions I want something more traditional and timeless, they do sell a genuine leather strap that is very comfortable for everyday wear. If you're someone who wants more protection for your Apple Watch, Caseify also has a really cool metallic impact case. It's super easy to put on. It literally just snaps into place. It's precision fitted exactly to the size of my Apple Watch and it provides extra protection around the edges as well as a raised bezel for screen protection. If you guys are interested in Case Defy's Apple Watch accessories, you can use my link down below and get 15% off your order today. Thank you Case Defy for partnering with me on this video. Okay, let's talk about sleep tracking. Like if you've been following my channel for a while and my Apple Watch Ultra journey, which I'll link all previous videos down below, 
I've struggled month after month trying to buy into this idea of using this watch to track my sleep. I've concluded that it was something that wasn't really comfortable for me because of how large the Apple Watch Ultra is, but my mind has changed a little bit. I've been tracking my sleep again with the Ultra and it's really not that bad. If you pair it with the trail loop, which I find to be quite comfortable, and you loosen up the strap just a little bit so it's not so tight on your wrist, it really is becoming something I am more willing to do now. I always like to bring this up in my videos because I think sleep tracking is one of the best features of an Apple Watch. And if you feel the same way that I do about it, I strongly recommend you actually try this watch first in person and see if its size is a deterrent where you wouldn't want to wear this at night. Okay, as for workouts, everyone's experience becomes very different as we all use the watch to do different activities. For me personally, weightlifting has been great going for runs in downtown Toronto have been fantastic, especially because the Ultra has a newer dual precision GPS for more accurate data. This is absolutely critical for any GPS related workout you do in a really big city, which was actually also one of the main reasons why I chose to buy this watch. It matters a lot to me that my watch can track my running pace and kilometers ran accurately. And there actually exists a lot of cheaper like smartwatches, not necessarily Apple watches, but other watches that just don't do that very effectively. I've also taken this watch recreationally in pools and it was really cool to see the dive meter computer turn on instantly. I'll probably never dive in my life, but I can confirm it works and it's a cool party trick to show your friends if the opportunity comes up. I'm also a massive fan of the action button. You can assign any workout if you're choosing to it and the number one workout I do the most is walking. So that's why I signed. Walking is so good for you in so many ways that I won't get into in this video, but I love just going outside hitting the orange action button and instantaneously my walk is now being tracked. It removes a tiny level of friction to finish tracking that makes a huge difference to the overall experience. Okay, so now I wanna talk about Watch OS 10. It was recently announced at WWDC and a developer beta was released, which I did install. And I can say wholeheartedly, it is a significant update. All the apps pre-installed in the watch now have a new look that fills out all corners of the display, which I think looks great on an OLED panel like the Ultras. There's also a new home screen. It's now a vertical slide action where you swipe up and down to see the apps available. I actually really like this change as organizing and finding your apps are now just a little bit easier. I never really got used to the old way of, of finding your apps on the, on the Apple Watch. There's also now something called Smart Stack where you can put widgets on your home screen and it's fully customizable. So you can put the ones that are the most relevant to you and you simply turn the dial to get access to it from the watch face. I also love the new mental and vision health additions to Apple Watch. Now your watch will be able to track how much time you spend outside in daylight thanks to the built-in ambient light sensors. And that's incredibly important for so many things like improving your mood, reducing your stress. And you're also able to journal directly from the watch. You can log your state of mind with the series of questions it'll ask you. And then you can go back to the health app on your iPhone and cross-reference all of this journaling data to your exercise minutes, amount of sleep tracked, time spent outside in daylight, and mindful minutes meditating. That is just, so cool on so many levels, especially if you extrapolate that data over a long period of time, you can learn a lot about yourself, your habits, and what helps you be the best version of yourself. This is easily my favorite thing Apple is doing with their products, and I strongly encourage more of you guys to use it when it does become available. This is not a gimmick. It may seem a little lame to some of you guys watching, but it's really useful in discovering more about how to make yourself feel better in this life. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to comment hashtag I made it if you made it all the way to the end of the video. I'm gonna heart and like your comment. You are goaded for making it to the end and watch my latest video right here. And I'll talk to all of you guys in the next one. Peace.